An idea is a magnet. It draws to it everyone it needs to express itself. First, it'll draw the writer or the author. Um, then it'll draw an editor. And the writer and the editor are, are of the same intellectual family. What you're looking for as a young writer, you're not looking for a publisher. You're looking for an editor who works for a publisher who will see and recognize what you see and recognize in your own book. So it's not this search among giants you're looking for. You're looking for somebody very much like yourself who happens to love books and who edits them, maybe in Manhattan, maybe somewhere else. And you just keep sending that thing out until coincidence, chance, whatever, brings these two together. And when that happens, a book begins. So many times without thinking, we can say something, do something, not even be aware of what we've done. We've changed somebody's life with something we've said. Maybe a one sentence of a book, of all these books, maybe someone's coming in here this evening and they're finding one sentence in one book and all of a sudden, oh my God, that huge block I had about whatever, living or relationships or something, it's gone, of course, of course. Thank you, dear writer. They may not, not even buy the book, but they'll walk out with what the writer has given them, an idea, shared an idea that has changed their life. And I, this evening when I was signing books, a lot of people were, would say, I read this book 20 years ago, and there was a line in that book, um, every problem comes to you with a gift in its hand. You need problem. You you seek problems because you need their gifts. And they had memorized that line. It had been with them all this time. And finally, they had a chance to tell me. And then finally, I had a chance to hear. Writers rarely hear back from readers. It's usually a one-way communication. Your ideas and the way you sing them go out into the world, and you don't know, but you can be absolutely guaranteed that your family of readers will find what you've written and they will be touched as you were touched by the idea when, you, when it was first handed to you.